This is something I already wanted to express years ago, but kept pushing it away as there are always more important videos, it seemed, to be published. I am glad Mari mentioned it now. We have been uploading many technical videos across the years, some of the most important ones on the topic of stellar navigation with Zvaru of Erra years ago. It was then when I first saw comments from the audience that this type of information was not practical. They wanted something simpler, I suppose, or something they could easily apply in their daily lives. And it is here, I believe, and not only I, where the problem comes in, and from several angles. Let me go through those angles, and perhaps then you'll understand my perspective on this and why I believe including technical videos is important. Reason number one, and this is something Mari Zvaru explained herself in her recent video, You Don't Need a Spaceship, so I won't go into details here. But basically, and using those first Zvaru of Eras videos on how ET craft operate, not only were they important for the tech field of the stellar navigation itself, but she was also clearly explaining, or so I think, the link between how starships navigate through hyperspace and the way our bodies work in terms of projecting ourselves in the new circumstances we desire, according to the law of mirrors, becoming a match to who we are in our overall vibration. Change your vibration pattern and you manifest a reality you seek. Wrap your physical personal spaceship, your body, in the frequency of destination, becoming one with that destination, whatever it may be, and just as spaceships motors do, and the chances are that the required destination will unfold, providing no other hidden blocks in your subconscious stand in the way. The process of manifesting a ship across light years away, and even in a different time, is the same one as manifesting a new reality, just explained technologically. Technology here emulates the science of the mind, as both are connected, and you should be able to see that connection clearly, especially with Mari's explanation a few days ago. I can't remember in which video Zvaru of Era said that, but she expressed that it made her sad that some people dismissed those first stellar navigation videos as not useful. As it was clear to her, they didn't really understand the ramifications of them. And this brings me to the reason number two of why these videos are important. As you could see from Zvaru of Era's reaction there, and also now from Mari, dismissing one area of study as irrelevant over another, especially when the two have such a strong connection, navigation and consciousness in this case, is simply something they do not comprehend. Remember, they are not from Earth, and they see all topics as one mass, while we, down here, have a clear tendency to divide everything into categories, left and right, spiritual and technical, etc. In advanced extraterrestrial societies, this is simply not how it is perceived. You might be wondering why they would spend time explaining gravity and engineering while all you want is to grow spiritually. For them, learning about gravity, engineering, mathematics, astrophysics, etc. is growing spiritually because matter and spirit, physics and metaphysics, are not regarded as separate realms in their worldview. You must always keep this in mind. Do not expect them to act according to how we view the reality down here and how much we split it, because you would be imposing our own dualistic point of view 
on a race that is far beyond that form of reality-fracturing mindset. That not fracturing mental capacity is precisely what we all should be striving to embrace if we are serious about expanding beyond the harsh dualistic system we have on Earth. It is here where we divide. It is here where science and spirituality are considered the opposites. It is here where they conflict. If we wish to grow, stretch into more unifying way of thinking and being, if our journey is to keep evolving as a race into the so-called 5D stellar mentality and beyond, then we should welcome the seemingly opposing by Earth standards fields. This is the road towards integration, towards non-dualistic existence. This is the road to Source. It doesn't mean you should right away feel guilty for not fully grasping the engineering topics and not being overly hooked on engines and turbines. They, too, have topics that interest them sometimes more than others. But, generally speaking, let's allow them to express their knowledge in these subjects, as it provides more keys to the greater picture of how reality works. It harmonizes it, it all. It shows us how all these topics interconnect, to the point where, sometimes, it is even impossible to talk about one without touching on another. Instead of feeling discouraged, let's learn from them to be so utterly holistic and embracing life in all its expressions. I envy them this ability. And speaking of sharing knowledge, what I will say next is another reason why technological subjects are important. Namely, you must keep in mind that the videos we all make are not only for the starseeds seeking to expand their personal lives. The way I see it, this is for the entire human race whether the bulk of it is aware of anything at the moment or not. We are sharing this with all of humanity, not just spiritual seekers of peace. This is global knowledge that is being passed on to Earth scientists, engineers, biologists, etc. It is for our entire civilization. This is not just nice New Age talk. It is the mechanics of how space reality works, and it is to provide them with missing links they may not always have. You don't know how to build the washing machine either, right? But someone had to learn it so that you now can do the laundry. So someone, maybe not you, will know how to apply the knowledge explained in many of our technical videos. We are not your typical spiritual channel. The way I view it, this is a galactic academy for the entire race, in all its fields, not just for someone who wants to learn to meditate and astral project. We have tons of easy topics for every type of person. But how long are we going to stay at the primary level in metaphysical learning? If we just continue wanting easy subjects, how ready are we really for the interstellar knowledge? Are we ready to ascend as a culture? People's comments about technical videos as not useful because they don't know how to apply it themselves, build a spaceship engine, for example, sounds to me like someone from a primitive society being shown a washing machine, while all they want is just to continue planting carrots and doing their laundry in the river. Imagine them them looking at you saying, Why are you showing me this device? I don't know how to build it. I don't need this knowledge. Show me how to make my carrots bigger. Wouldn't you conclude then that this society is not ready for the world with washing machines? On the other hand, you want to teach that tribe how to make washing machines because you know that within that society, there must be someone who is interested in them and might even be already developing it for the entire community. 
Hence, you desire to help provide additional elements, so that everyone one day, including the carrot caretaker who complained, can take advantage of the technology. I believe some of our more technical videos might be that. Visions for the future and for few individuals within our society who will know how to apply these concepts and technical details and will develop wonderful things for everyone on Earth when the time is right. This is stellar seeding. This is injecting us with knowledge from beyond. Let's appreciate that our friends from Toleka care about us enough and about advancing our global science instead of feeling discouraged that we can't build anything ourselves because all we have is a carrot field. Well, don't take it personally, carrots caretaker, and carrot farming being also important, but you are not the only one we are speaking to. Let's see if Tesla's discoveries were understood by people who wanted something practical at the time. They were mostly appreciated decades later, and the application of his knowledge can also be executed only by a few. But these few develop technologies for everyone. If I teach you how to build an airplane, it won't help you either, you will say. But then you will want to fly, because someone out there understood and applied the concept. Simplifying, I will give you another example. At school, we all were taught different subjects, so that, in theory, we can know how the world works. More than half of that was inapplicable, we all know that. Some of it not even true, separate subject. But one in 30 students will continue to examine that which you found inapplicable, and this person will go into his life to develop it. One in chemistry, another in engineering, another in linguistics. And so the race can advance. Everyone contributes. You won't apply it, but someone will. Telling us not to share technological subjects is like saying, don't write books on physics, neuroscience, insects, anatomy, etc. because I can't apply it much of it myself. Again, you are not the only one we make these videos for. Think global. I wish to pass on to humans as many details as possible of how reality works and what the stellar people know. Engineering details that we do not understand, astrophysics, whatever. I want to share it all. Not because it may or not interest me personally, but because I want the human race to have that knowledge. I want it here. We are seeding. Humans will know themselves what they will want to use, when and how. Beside that, and finishing up, and that being perhaps the last reason why sharing all this is important, I believe we are injecting the human conscious and unconscious mental field with the sheer possibility, whether technically understood or not by the average Joe turning what they only thought was fantastical into a tangible reality that does exist, perhaps far away only for now for them personally, nevertheless something real. With them accepting it to be real, not needing to understand all the details, they further contribute to wrap the human collective in frequencies of stellar possibilities that, inevitably, must eventually shift them into that stellar line of reality. Does what I just said sound familiar? Isn't it just what I was explaining in the beginning with stellar navigation and manifestation? Hyperspace quantum leaps? Precisely that. And so we are back at the initial argument. Embody the frequency of what you seek and your mind will take you there. We are manifesting positive interstellar existence for all. <laughs>